you are still watching Ways now International Astronomy Day started in 1973 by Doug Berger, the president of Astronomical Association of Northern California. His intent was to set up various telescopes in busy urban locations so that pass, uh, passerbys could enjoy views of the heavens. Now, since then, the event has expanded and is now sponsored by a number of organizations associated with astronomy. The goal of International Astronomy Day um, is, prom is to promote interest in astronomy and to provide public with an opportunity to learn about the wonders of the universe. Astronomers <laughs> and astronomy enthusiasts <laughs> from all over the world host events and activities on International Astronomy Day. You need to allow the think of nice artists to read, read uh, your uh, destinies. That one is even nice. You know what was in my head? That one is different now. No, no, no. It's part of it. It's, it's part of it now. They will check, yeah, so they will check the stars, if it aligns and all of those things. But I actually love, um, what's this called, Queen Charlotte. You know, the guy was... Was obsessed with the heavens. Wait, <laughs> go ahead. What was my mind? You were just reading. I said, "Oh, I can't even imagine that was in Nigeria." Like, where will you say you uh, are? How? No, no, no. It's still the heavens. Now. As it's you, the... these plus you and the. You could make, you make a carry one of you together. No, but, but I think, sure but I don't think that kind of business yeah. we sell here nah. because we, we say our problem is too plenty. It's only people like you know. Maybe when they are talking, you should not be thinking. <laughs> Really, like I don't know if that would be a good attraction I for for will. money, like yeah, for actually, business. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yes, absolutely. You shock you. The Imagine you someone that. telling you, as in, like saying, "Oh, without the, you know, this is very funky. Without necessarily the idea of jazz." No, no, no. It's just even for you to see the heavens, yeah. like views. No, but there is also meaning to it. Yeah. Outside of just seeing the heavens and the stars, there's I meaning think, to I it. So I'll I'll be surprised when a close friend of mine. Because I'm, I, I'm very, I try not to share these things. Because I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> people think that I mean you don't believe in God and mm -hmm. stuff. So when she came, she was like, because things it was just a rough week, and she was like, Mercury is in retrograde. And I looked at her, I was like, How do you know that? <laughs> How do you actually know about that? So you know, I was, I was quite surprised, you know. And I was like, Okay, it made me feel comfortable to you to talk about these things. Because there's one of my cousins that seems to say. What are Christians or what are Christians or just just things they are doing? Don't be falling out here. All these blue eye, all these dead eye. Don't I don't want to see. I said, God, I'm, I still believe in God now. They're the supreme being. I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah. You know, it's so please explain the Mercury is in which one again? Let me understand it. I don't know. No, now explain. No, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, since you know what to explain, what did you find for us in the news? <laughs> Today, I found out our president, able president, Tinubu. Just a Hmm. President Tinubu increases salaries of tertiary institution staff by 35%. President Bola Tinubu has approved the implementation of 35% and 23% of salary increment for staff of all federal tertiary hmm. institutions. This is contained in a letter from the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation. The memo dated September 21st, 2023, and directed to the directors of audit heads of departments also revealed that the federal government will pay areas from January 1st, 2023. The salary review affects academic and non-academic staff of federal polytechnics and colleges of education. Mm. I mean, it's a, it's a nice step. I just really pray they would actually make the payments because it's one thing to you know, make the media and some other things to actually do the implementation. But yeah, this is how about you, um Yola? Okay, so this is a military rescue six students after bandits invasion of Zamfara community. Um this comes after bandits invaded the Sabungida community of Bungudu local government area and um six of twenty four students of Federal University Gusau in Zamfara State kidnapped in the early hours of Friday today have been rescued and um, this was a military operation and um, I honest okay so um, it was identified that um, at about 3 a.m. in the morning um, 
people came into the community and they started shooting indiscriminately. And um, there were three girls, three hostels, you know, that were attacked and they made away with um, the students there. Um, I, I honestly don't know what to say to this because this is, I mean, it's almost like open season. You know, just enter in school, just do us, do us, do, like. I mean, it's just, I don't know what to say to this, honestly. But I'm happy, at least six, but I just hope that um, they work hard enough to, you know, rescue the other students. All right, so just to follow up, first, let me take that the Lagos State House of Assembly on Friday revealed its findings on the circumstance that led to the disappearance of late Adebola Akin Bright's small intestine. Mm. The chairman of the ad hoc committee set up by the House to investigate the matter, Nohim Adams, told his colleagues that the doctor who performed the surgery twice on the boy was not a qualified surgeon. <laughs> ah, Nigeria. According to a statement released um, today, the Speaker of the House of Resp uh, um, how the Speaker of the House, that's right on the Bermuda Shirobasa, during the plenary, had directed that the clerk to write the Lagos Police Command for the arrest of the doctor. His name is Doctor Abayomi Beyewu, I think that's the name, um, of. Obitox Hospital in Ali Moshaw area of Lagos State. The statement reads that during the investigation, um, the Dr. Beyewu, that he is not a surgeon but only relied on his experience as a medical doctor. The statement quoted, um, that's Adam saying it now. So now they have issued a warrant for his arrest. Um, this is really sad. See what we talked about yesterday. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you hear things like this, you know, it just begs the question, like, literally, why do we still have these things happening now? Like, do you understand? And with them brings me to my next story that says that um, the nurse, nursing and midwifery council of the United Kingdom have decried a large widespread fraud and so let me, the, the place is Unique Technologies Test Centers in, in Ibadan. So apparently there has been wide uh, suspicion of fraud, land, but now they are saying that it is really evident that mm -hmm. there is wide fraud going on there, where you have proxy testers, right? Take on tests on behalf of other people. So I am the one that's supposed to be writing this test, but Jola is helping me to write the test. Mm -hmm. And this is a test that is supposed to certify you that you are, that you are qualified to attend to people medically. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So you see, the problem that I, I keep saying that the problem in Nigeria is not one. So for every time we turn a blind eye mm. on one aspect of Nigeria, it mm. affects every other thing, right? There's corruption, and we're seeing that the corruption is even going deeper and deeper. If a, if someone is not qualified to uh, perform surgery, why would you even carry out surgery in the first place, right? There are general practitioners, there are surgeons, there are even like specifics. Yeah. It then breaks it down. Even the kind of surgery that you can yeah. you can handle, it breaks it down. So if the if the Medical Association of Nigeria, or the Medical Guild, or what do they call themselves, the body, if they are not really fighting this war. Because the truth is, I can't go and fight it for them. Yeah. I can't start going to every hospital to check if the person is qualified. Mm -hmm. There's supposed to be a body that qualifies these people. It's the same thing with schools, and right? Yes. Instead of the government to check make these schools, they go there and just sit down. They will invite them to principal's office, give them tea and coffee, and give them some other things in envelopes, and that's it. They go and say that the school is certified. It's the same thing we're seeing. So if the Medical Association of Nigeria is not taking this seriously, you understand, it puts a big dent. I can't trust any hospital in this country. Mm. I cannot trust any hospital in this country. Because if somebody can do this kind of thing, my point is not wait till I'm dead before mm. you not say you want to even, Why can't we just have preventive solutions to these problems? We don't do mm. preventive. Right? Why do you wait for people to die? The industry, yeah. yes. Exactly. It's too it's sensitive because you you are literally it's a life and death yeah. situation. Even experience, I mean, even outside of the country, experienced doctors 
they will consult and consult and double check just to be Even sure. Even dying. Just to they be will, sure. They will, you see them, they will hold the yeah. uh, round table. That's why they have multidisciplinary co um, um, teams. Professionals, oh, exactly. yes. I, I don't know. In Nigeria, one doctor will say is the surgeon is the, is the one that will, uh, that will give you an the, the, is the one that will do everything. It's sad. It's you know, it's really sad. The, sad the good thing is that, okay, yes, they have identified and they have issued, uh, you know, a warrant for his arrest. But I'm saying that, it do we have to always tomorrow. wait till people die? It will happen. Like, tomorrow. literally, we've lost so many people to this kind of, um, what's it called, quackery or whatever I'll call it. Mm -hmm. It's really sad. It's so painful. Let's take a break, Abe. Let's discuss stories. <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back.